Good morning, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. A happy and blessed Christ-centered Christmas to you all. Today, we celebrate Christmas Day. Christmas is one of the major festivals of the Christian year, commemorating the birth of Jesus Christ. Observed primarily on December 25th as a religious, cultural, and national celebration among many people around the world. A feast central to the Christian liturgical year, it is preceded by the season of Advent, which deals with preparation and it initiates the season of Christmas time, which historically in the West lasts for 12 days and finishes on the 12th night, the 5th of January. <clears throat> Christmas Day is a national holiday in many nations around the world. It is celebrated religiously by majority of Christians, as well as culturally by many non-Christians. Around the world, lots of people look forward to Christmas Day, and they choose to celebrate this day in many ways. Some attend church, and they spend quality time with their families and friends over Christmas breakfast, lunch, and dinner, while others attend parties with families and friends. At most of these gatherings, there are usually lots to eat and drink, and of course, lots to waste. While we have the less fortunate who have little or nothing to eat, and sometimes go hungry. It is sad to say, but many times during Christmas Day, both Christians and non-Christians get carried away with Santa Claus, snowman, and other activities and things that sometimes take away the true meaning of Christmas, and they forget the real reason for the season, which is Jesus Christ. Today is a beautiful day in which we celebrate the birth of a baby boy by the name of Jesus. This year, even though we would have faced so many challenges, we still have so much for which to be grateful. Today, Many presents will be exchanged. Some were shipped well in advance of this day to ensure timely delivery. Others will be offered in person. This is also the time in which we are called to celebrate the magic that is Christmas. We rejoice as we recall the miraculous birth of the baby born in Bethlehem to the Virgin Mary. We retell the story of the incarnation of God, the God the world did not know, and who came into the world in the humblest of circumstances. Jesus was born in a manger wrapped in a blanket and laid in an animal trough as his bed. The Gospel of John offers us a profound explanation of who this sweet little boy Jesus was. And right in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. 
we are told from the onset that Jesus was the Word, Son, eternal and present before creation itself. Unlike the Gospel of Matthew, Mark, and Luke, John does not recount the story of the birth of Jesus. He draws our attention to who Jesus is. Through John's account, Jesus is the manifestation of God. He was with God and he was God. Even though the notion of Jesus both being God and being with God may sound confusing, our faith informs us our belief. Jesus was sent to deliver a powerful message to God's people. Yet, he was a different kind of messenger. He was more than a prophet, and he was a bigger force than the angels. The word was God, and yet people did not understand. Jesus came into the world to know human suffering and to teach important lessons that would serve humankind forever. Ultimately, Jesus, the light of the world, came to deliver his people from sinful ways and point them towards salvation. John the Baptist was a messenger from God who came ahead of Christ to announce the coming of the Messiah. John informed the people that one much greater than he was coming and that the one coming behind him would be the savior of the world. John came to testify to the light so that all who would believe the baptizer also offered people an opportunity to repent and to be baptized with water so that they would be prepared when the Lord arrived. The people were filled with expectation and still they did not recognize Jesus when he appeared to them. They did not know the one who had been sent to deliver the peace to the fractured world. They could not comprehend the rabbi who preached forgiveness and hope. They would not accept the teaching of the carpenter's son who talked about love as the most important guiding principle for life. In this turmoil time, some are still grappling with the incarnation of God who call us all children of the Holy One. We find ourselves struggling with what it means to be God's shining light in the world. On this day, when we showered our friends and loved ones with presents, how have we gifted the world? What have we offered those with much less? Those who have none, the less fortunate. How have we remembered the poor and the suffering? What is our gift to God? As we wondered how and why God came to earth, let us be reminded of the grace that has been shown to us simply by God's presence. Our gift to God is our response to human condition, our response to those less fortunate than ourselves. It is personal in the ways we offer grace to our neighbor, near and far. 
during Jesus physical time on earth we were shown how to care for those with the greatest needs Jesus did not spend time dining with nobles despite his divine status Jesus dined instead with the marginalized and the outcasts like a lesser being Jesus shine a light on injustice and force his disciples to look inwardly, examining their hearts and minds to find the true meaning of life. Jesus was never to be crowned an earthly king, which was very confounding to the people of his day. It is God's hope that present-day disciples, you and I, will take time from the hustle and bustle of a busy holiday season to shine a light on the urgent matters of the day. Just like in ancient times, this world need healing, this world need love, this world needs kindness. So many are feeling exhausted after a year of fractured relationship, mistrust, and disruption of normal life. The world is still with us, and the shining light of Christ will continue to guide us out of the wilderness and despairs of our lives. God is nudging us forward, beloved, to take on the mantle of discipleship and serve the world in the name of his loving son. Numerous issues are demanding our attention and there are many ways to involve or to get involved in helping all of God's children get to the promised land. You are needed now more than ever to share the love of Christ with others who have been waiting a lifetime to hear the good news of Christmas that offers love and compassion. Rescue those in need just as, you, just as you have been delivered by the power of God's everlasting mercy. Today, as we celebrate this holiday, the birth of Christ, with festivities to whatever extent we deem appropriate, we give thanks for those who gathered with us and those whom the Lord receive in eternity. Make it a joyful occasion. The God of creation invites us to recreate the meaning of this wonderful season in which miracles can truly happen. It is possible to live in a world filled with love and peace. As faithful followers, you must believe that better days are ahead and work to make this a reality. At the end of the season, when all celebration would have been completed, let's draw our attention once again to creating the world that God intends. Let us commit ourselves to continuing the pilgrimage to the promised land with the assurance that God's light will show us the way and all we need to do is follow the directive of the word of God. Howard Truman, an American theologian, educator, and civil rights leader created a stunning poem called The Work of Christmas 
which define the work before us. May we all celebrate the joy of the Christmas season, giving thanks for the continuing presence of the Creator. May the light of Jesus bring new life into the world and may it shine brightly for all to see. This Christmas, let us all strive to be more thoughtful, loving, merciful, compassionate, kind, caring, and understanding to all those who are in need, those people who society looked down on or has no time for. Let us represent Christ and be a blessing to someone this Christmas. May the blessing of God Almighty be with you now and always. May you all have a Christ-centered Christmas. Thank you.